What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video on the channel. Today I've got a triple review for you guys today. So we are going to be reviewing three Dragon Ball Z flavors. We have the Super Saiyan uh, reskin of Lemonade inspired by Dragon Ball Z. And then we have the Jinyu Force that is Pineapple also inspired by Dragon Ball Z. Pretty sure both of these are a reskin, but then we also have one unique new flavor, and that is going to be the Evil Emperor flavor, which is a cranberry, cherry, raspberry, and strawberry. So first, I think I will review the new flavor, and then at the end, we will try the reskins. Also, ladies and gentlemen, wanted to let you guys know that the G Fuel Black Friday BOGO is going on right now. And with the BOGO going on, G Fuel has also released this glow in the dark stainless steel G Fuel shaker. Now this shaker is really, really quite awesome. Not only because this G Fuel logo right here is insanely glow in the dark, but just this whole pattern here is just so cool and it's really, really raised and you can feel all of it and that's just awesome. And it even flows right up to the top there. So it's all lined up. Look at that. And it is so bright in real life. Like the camera's not really picking it up, but it is really, really bright in real life. Now there's also a ton of limited edition black light G Fuel flavor reskins. So for example, um, basically if you shine a black light at some of these tubs, they're going to have black light features, which is really cool. So if there's some flavors that you haven't tried yet and you wanna get a black light reskin of those, those are also available. Now in terms of a tub that I could quickly recommend to you guys that has come out recently that I absolutely recommend, I would say number one for me that I've been drinking a lot lately is going to be the Pog Juice flavor. It's a passion fruit, orange, and guava. I've absolutely been loving that one. And then Twisted Metal, the ice cream flavor. I really, really like that one in terms of a new candy flavor. And if you guys are looking for more of my thoughts on flavors, definitely check out my new updated tier list that I just made recently. I will link that down below and up here in the video. But anyways, guys, let's move on to these Dragon Ball Z tubs. So here we go. This is the new tub or the new flavor. It's called Evil Emperor. And like I said earlier, it's a cranberry cherry raspberry and strawberry flavor so this is what the tub looks like here there we go and then if you guys would like to take a look at the ingredients label it's right here in terms of color for this one it's looking like you got beetroot powder you also have uh red number three and then you got red 40 and blue number one so there's definitely going to be an interesting color coming out of this one without a doubt and then you've also got the expiration date right there at the bottom anyways guys let's open this one up we've got three flavors to go through today so i definitely don't want to waste any time let's open this one up let's take off our seal at the top here the powder is pretty red Let's go ahead and get a smell here. Definitely got a lot of strawberry, raspberry. I don't think I'm getting too much cranberry or cherry. Definitely having a lot of strawberry come through there. Let me see if I can find the scooper, which I think I can. The scooper's pretty deep this time. That's uh, always unfortunate when it's deep like that. Let's go ahead and empty it out. I am going to take off the top part of this scooper because you don't really want to fill it to the top of there. Uh, the line that you want to fill to is right there. And that top section just makes it a little bit harder to scoop if you're trying to scoop into like a shaker or something. So let's go ahead and get a shaker with some water, guys. All right, guys, I've got my shaker here with some ice cubes and 16 ounces of water, and I'm going to put my scoop into there. And let's go ahead and give this baby a mix. Here we go. 
All right, so in terms of color, it's definitely looking like a purple for sure. All right, guys, so after about 30 seconds of mixing, this is what it's looking like. It's kind of a dark purple. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and give it a smell. I'm actually getting more of the cranberry and cherry when it's mixed in the water. And less of that raspberry and strawberry, which I guess makes sense because if you look at the text, first they have cranberry, then cherry, then raspberry, and then strawberry. So what you would think is that cranberry is gonna be the strongest, then cherry, then a little bit of raspberry and strawberry. So let's go ahead and give it a go, but right now I'm mostly smelling cranberry and cherry. I've got a lot of cranberry coming through, some cherry as well. Definitely cranberry is at number one, then you're getting some of that cherry. It's not really a medicine cherry, which I'm glad about. Um, and then I don't really notice the raspberry. I think the raspberry is just really adding some tartness. And then the strawberry, strawberry is normally a pretty strong, prominent, like you can detect strawberry um, when it's mixed with a lot of fruits. And I'm definitely getting a hint of strawberry. It all depends on how I drink it. It's so weird because if I just put it in my mouth and drink it right away, I'm really only getting cranberry and cherry, to be honest. However, if I take a sip and I sort of swish it around side to side a little bit, definitely noticing that strawberry more. Still not really noticing much of that raspberry. Um, I think the raspberry is there, but like I said, I just don't think raspberry is a very prominent flavor to distinct uh, or tell a difference out of when it's got all these flavors mixed up in it here. So in terms of ratios, I would say about, you're getting a 40% cranberry, a 20% cherry, which brings us to 60%. And then another, I would say 25%. So that brings us to 85%. And that 25% is probably strawberry. And then you're getting like a 15% of a raspberry in there, but it's just, it's not very, the raspberry flavor isn't very strong and you don't notice it much, but I think the raspberry is adding some tartness that's in here. It's definitely a unique combination. We've never really had a combination of flavors like this. In terms of like how good it is and where I'm gonna put it on my tier list, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at my tier list. I don't really feel like this is gonna go too high for me just because I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of the strawberry flavors too much or cherry. Um, I don't really mind the cranberry, but overall it is a good fruity, refreshing flavor and it tastes more on the real side, like real fruit instead of like candy or something like that. So it's got that. It's got a plus in that section for me for that. But overall, I'm, I'm not, I don't think I'm too crazy about it. So I decided for this one, guys, I'm gonna put it in my average category on my tier list, but at the very top. I don't think it's it really gets into good because I don't think I'd have it even over the Witcher flavor or the Contra flavor. Um, I just like those kind of flavors better, like Mega Man, I really enjoy that. Soda Ice Candy, I enjoy that more. I prefer to have that more, to be honest with you. Um, I do think it's better than the Glitch Mix flavor. I'm just not a fan of the coconut that's in that one. I also think it's better than just something like plain blue ice or plain star fruit or plain bubble gum and stuff like that. I think it's better than those, but for right now, I think the best I'm gonna do uh, or the best place that I'm gonna put it for now is probably going to be at the top of average. I just don't see myself reaching for it in the future. And of course, you know, I just always wanna be honest with you guys. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and move on to Jin Yu Force. So this one is a pineapple reskin. And taking a look at the tub, this is what it looks like. And if I remember, awesome, yes. So I remember the OG pineapple did not have any uh, artificial colors in it, and nor does this. This does not have any artificial colors at all. It's just got beta carotene 
for the color there. So that is awesome to see. And then this tub, it does have a weird expiration stamp there, but it is a brand new tub. Looks like lemonade is uh, does have natural colors as well. So G Fuel, huge, huge thumbs up to both of these. Um, it's always great when there's more uh, flavors without artificial colors. So let's go ahead and open this and try some OG pineapple, baby. All right. We originally had just pineapple G Fuel. It used to be called pineapple. I, I bet I almost have this. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's the one, dude. I remember all the freaking time having some pineapple G Fuel, bro, out of this. Playing Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Ghost, dude. Those were the freaking days, guys. Those were the days. Man, I miss that so much, guys. Man, 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 man. All right, guys, I got another shaker here all set with 16 ounces of water. Got some ice cubes in here. Let's get our scooper with some powder. All right, here we go. Put that in there. And let's give this baby a mix. All right, guys, so this is what the pineapple flavor looks like all mixed up. It's actually a very good color for having no artificial colors whatsoever. G Fuel, do more of this. This is amazing. Like, this is way bright enough and it has no artificial colors. Like, this is awesome. That is freaking great. Well, let's go ahead and give the OG pineapple a taste here, guys, shall we? Smells like pineapple. Smells just like pineapple juice. Maybe a little less of a tart smell to it. But let's go ahead and give it a go. Mm. Yeah, see, now to me, guys, that is just really good. It's just simple. It's good. It tastes like real pineapple juice. It has no artificial colors. Like... I really like that. Like, it's just a good, simple flavor. And it tastes just like a real pineapple juice. Um, it really, really does. And it definitely tastes just like the original formula of pineapple or battle juice. It's just that same basic pineapple that we've had from G Fuel in the past, but just new and fresh. All right, guys. So for my tier list for pineapple, I'm going to put it kind of in that same area as watermelon, where it's just simple, it's good. And I think a lot of people will like it because first off, it doesn't have any artificial colors and it says it tastes like pineapple and it tastes just like pineapple. Um, so I'm gonna put it right below watermelon in my good category. Um, I don't know if it's quite as good as something like watermelon, but I definitely think it's kind of in that area of like cantaloupe as well, a little bit better than cantaloupe. All right, guys, next up, we've got Super Saiyan, which is a reskin of Lemonade. Um, now, we have had a lot of reskins and sort of remasters of Lemonade from G Fuel. We've had just the original version of Lemonade, which was with Nade Shot. And then we just had lemonade by itself. Then we had green lemonade and it's just definitely been quite all over the place. So glad to see like the original kind of nade shot lemonade come back. Um, this one has no artificial colors. Looks like this one's probably going to look similar to the pineapple. Um, and then in terms of the expiration date, it's right there on the bottom. But let's go ahead and open this up, guys, and give it a go. All right, guys, so here is lemonade. I just went ahead and mixed it up. Let's go ahead and get a smell here. Basically looks just like pineapple, maybe a little bit less yellow. Here is pineapple and here's lemonade. Yeah, I'd say, well, actually, they might be exactly the same. Pineapple, maybe just a little bit more vibrant. But let's go ahead and give lemonade a smell here. That, that definitely brings back memories of the original Lemonade, without a doubt. Um, I'm pretty sure 
the original lemonade had no artificial colors or flavors. Um, this one does have natural and artificial flavors. Let's go ahead and give it a taste, guys. Here we go. Wow. That is, um, that's a good lemonade. That is a good lemonade. In terms of what lemonade this is kind of resembling, like in terms of other G Phil flavors, it's definitely not the kind of lemonade in mango lemonade or shiny splash really. I would say this is kind of a lemonade that is in electric strike, something like that. But it, it's a really good lemonade. I honestly don't know what I would change about it. It's not really on the candy side or anything. Um, it's definitely got more bite to it than I thought. Definitely a little bit more tart than I was expecting. All right, guys, so I kind of moved around my tier list a little bit. Um, but I think I'm gonna put lemonade in good as well. It's kind of kind of in the same area as pineapple, but I definitely like more pi like pineapple more because I think it has a lot more flavor to it. Um, so I think I'm going to put the lemonade flavor below Mega Man. I don't really think it beats out a combination like Hype Sauce. I don't think it's better than something like Ice Shatter or even cact or even Cactus Lime. So it's just it's just lemonade. I think it's great. If you are somebody who's just starting out with G Fuel and you want a simple flavor, um, I think lemonade's a great option. I also think pineapple's a great option. I think if you're somebody who's just starting out with G Fuel, I don't know if I'd go all the way to Evil Emperor right away. But, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching my review on these three brand new Dragon Ball Z flavors. Let me know which one of these is your favorite or which one of these you are considering picking up. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you if you decide to use code SHOCK on any of these and let me know if you guys picked up any BOGO orders. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.